Hey, welcome back to the Calibrate Tools channel. How do you tell if your car battery is on its way out? Well, you can do that with a multimeter, okay, slash voltmeter, and we'll talk about how to do that right after this. <music> All right guys, so why would you need to test your battery in the first place? Well, the obvious reason is that your car won't start or it's turning over very, very slowly. Now it's recommended that you test your battery twice a year at least. And if you live in seasonal climates where it gets really cold in the winter and very hot in the summer, you should test the battery during both seasons, in the winter and then again in the summer. Because most batteries deteriorate or wear out due to these extreme changes in temperature or the weather. Everybody knows how hard it can be to start your car when it's been sitting in the cold overnight. But extremely hot weather can also cause problems because the heat can cause the battery acid to evaporate over time and prevent the battery from charging fully. And heat can also cause corrosion on the battery posts and the cables as well. Now, one of the ways to test your battery or to see if it's working properly is to turn on your car. Did you guys see the battery light? It'll come again. There it is. Now, if that battery light comes on and then goes off after a few seconds, then that's fine. But if it stays on or if it comes on during your transit or when you're driving, then that can mean some problems with your battery. Now, it can be as simple as a loose cable or connection. It can be the alternator. It can be faulty wiring in the car itself. It can be damaged cells or plates in the battery itself. It can be any of those. Now a fully charged battery should be between 12.6 to 12.8 volts. Anything over 12.9 volts is considered a bit excessive voltage and anything under 11.9 volts is considered a completely discharged battery, meaning that it's gone bad, you probably need to replace it. Uh, if it's under 12.4 volts, you still can charge it up, okay? But you don't want it to fall too low in voltage, right? So let's go ahead and check the status of this battery, the voltage on this battery before you start the car, because that's a different thing. Voltage on a battery before you start the car is gonna be different than voltage when the car is started because the alternator will kick in and ramp up the voltage a bit. So let's check it out while it's in its flat state. Okay guys, so here is our multimeter slash voltmeter and uh, we're gonna use this to test our battery, okay? First thing we wanna do is turn it from the off position to 20 volts DC. Why DC? Because it's direct current coming from the battery. We don't need to test for 200 volts or 600 volts. Why is that? Because we know that the max voltage on this battery for what we need is about 12.6 to 12.8 volts in a static phase and maybe about 13.7 to 14 in a active phase, right? So we're gonna turn it to 20 volts right now. Okay, so we're gonna connect our black lead to the negative terminal or the black cable, which is the ground. And we're gonna connect our red lead to the positive terminal or the red cable, which is the hot. Okay, so we see that it's at 12.82 volts and that's exactly where we need it for this battery in its flat state just to show you what happens if you put it on 200 or 600 volts. For example, if you put it on 200 volts, you get about 12.8, but it's not as accurate a reading as 12.82, right? And if you put it on 600 volts, you get that. And that's definitely not as accurate as 12.82 or even 12.8 at 200. So you wanna make sure that you put it on the right setting so you get an accurate reading. Depending on the battery that you're testing, the equipment that you're testing, and the voltage that it's recommended to have. Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at is we're going to check the reading when we start the car, okay? So when we crank the car, this reading should drop briefly, and then it should shoot up to around 13.7 to 14.7 volts. If it drops below 10 volts when we start the car, that indicates that there may be a bad cell in the battery and the battery is probably on its way out. But if it doesn't and it shoots up to around 13.7 to 14.7, we should be okay.
Okay guys, we see that it's settling between 13.7 and 14.7 volts as is recommended. Okay guys, your car battery can last up to five years. So I'm gonna give you some tips to get the full life out of your battery while you have it. Number one, limit shorter rides. Shorter rides can prevent your battery from charging to its full capacity. So it's recommended that you take longer rides more often. It's a good excuse to get some exercise like walking or riding a bike, right? Number two, make sure that the battery is securely fastened in its seat. A battery that's constantly being bounced around in its seat while you're driving can cause internal damage in the battery and possibly a short circuit. Number three, and this is an obvious one, turn off all the lights when you exit the car so you won't drain the battery. Number four, make sure that the battery terminals are clean, that there's no corrosion. And one of the great tools that they have out there for that is this right here. You can actually clean the battery terminals with it. You can uh, open it up and scrub as well with this part, okay? So watch out for corrosion on those terminals. Number five, when you're idling your car, using electronics while you're doing that, it's not a good idea because it draws more power from the battery. The battery has to work harder and it wears the battery down quicker. Most of the time, it's just a loose cable on the terminal or the terminals themselves need to be cleaned. You know, the corrosion builds up on them and you gotta take some sandpaper or that tool I just showed you guys to scrub it off. And that solves the problem the majority of the time. But if that light comes on, while you're driving, once again, and you know that the terminals are tight when you check them and all, it could be a deeper problem. So make sure that you look after your car as a whole, okay? Not just the battery, the alternator and all that stuff. And always have one of these handy, right? You see what it can do. So guys, if you learned something today about using a multimeter to check your battery, your car battery, hit that like and subscribe button.